Hey guys, welcome back to Frenemies. I'm Ian, and we are back with Black Lightning. So last week, a lot happened. Uh, Gamby was kidnapped, tortured, by the people he used to work with, or he still works with. The leader of that area brought two guys, well, three, to take Gamby. We didn't see, uh, and we didn't see Tobias again. I don't know if we're going to see him this episode either, but if we do... Then we do. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, also, uh, Jess's powers uh, flared. And we found out that her powers are... She creates a lightning instead of uh, just being... Uh, just of charging... Just absorbing the lightning like her dad. Uh, and then using it. So, that's pretty cool. <laughs> can't, uh, I can't wait to see what they do with that. Because... I mean, she's not going to get her powers and not use them, even though she says she, she doesn't want to use them for he he helping people. I mean, even if she doesn't use them to help people, she'll, she might use them to, like, I mean, not actively go out to go help people, but, like, she'll probably help people if she's, like, there, at least. But, I mean, she'll, she, they're going to end up using her powers in, in some form. Um, Jefferson finally is okay with, with gaming now after, you know, the whole torture thing. The douche guy that kidnapped him or captured him, whatever, uh, he's found out that Jefferson's Black Lightning, and now the vice principal knows that he's Black Lightning, because she works with them. So that's bull. Not too happy about that. I mean, I was a little bit eh on her in the beginning, not because she was a bland character, but, yeah, you know, because she had the hots for Jefferson, while Jefferson was trying to get back with his ex-wife. You back off. But that's pretty much the gist of what happened last week, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into the next episode. Uh-oh. Oh! Did they find me? Oh! Yeah, Gamby! My boy! satellite too. They must have found a way to cloak the pod's energy in transit. I have an idea, but it'll take me a day to set it up. Come on back. Not yet. Atta boy, there we go. I was gonna say, don't you, don't you leave them. That's, that's bad. Bless up. Or, oh. Bendiga. Hey, Vaughn, you still with us? Favo. What? Oh, no, this is... The kids are not going to be okay with this. Every crack, every crevice. Hmm. Oh, surprise, surprise. Mr. Pierce. You're under arrest. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. This is ridiculous. Are you resisting? You can't come in here and... What? He doesn't have a gun. I am not resisting. I am complying. Jennifer, I need you to be calm. Really calm. Let's go. What? A... Well, y'all not just gonna take Mr. Pierce. It's on the signal run video. Step aside. Hey, look, my daddy name is Lamont, and you damn sure don't look like a Lamont. Tavon, no one wants to see another black man in cuffs today. Well, you want to help? Keep doing what you're supposed to be doing, and make sure all the other students do the same. Can I count on you? That'll help. <laughs> That'll get together. Hear you, Tavon. Yes, sir. Count on me. This land is your land. Whew. <laughs> that is unexpected emotional hit there. <laughs> Almost broke me. I am sensitive. Leave me be. Anissa. Anissa. Nah. Get back into school. Take care of everyone. Anissa. Made for you. 
The music though, whew. Oh boy. What the hell you think you're doing? My job, yours too apparently. Jefferson Pierce is one of the most distinguished members of this community. Was. Then we discovered he's a drug dealer operating out of a school. I have to give him credit. Smart way to corner the market. You gonna believe that your damn self. Tread lightly, inspector. Don't be blinded by personal feelings. My eyes are wide open. Good. I'd hate to see anything happen to you. You gotta bring ass to get ass. Don't forget that. Really? No, no, no. Uh... Okay. We've got to get him out of there. No. That'll only confirm their suspicions. What we have to do is prove to the prove ASA that, that Jefferson Pierce isn't Black Lightning. Okay. How, How do we do yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> That's what, uh, uh, can we use in this, uh, gen? Somehow? Uh, her lightning's a different color, so I don't know if it would work. Every time a brother tries to help his people, they find a way to set him up and take him down. It's a shame. I heard he walks around and makes the students call him Black Jesus. Imagine that. I know you're scared. It's okay to be scared. I'm not. Dad told me to be strong for you. It's okay to be strong and scared at the same time. Simba, like or Mufasa. I'm only brave when I have to be. But you're not scared of anything. I was today. I thought I might lose you. <laughs> if Dad never comes home. Uh oh. Follow the money, isn't that what they always say? Anderson, I don't have time for whatever this is. Oh, I think you do. Oh. I called in a lifetime of favors, but from what I could tell, you hit the lottery. But the good news is, I don't want you. I want Cayman. Now, how about you sit down? Oh, say what? <laughs> Don't let anything get between you and the hologram. Ooh. Or people will realize it's not really him. Oh my God. <laughs> Baby, I'm gonna think it's between that telegram. It's a good thing Freeland's power grid is so easy to hack. Yeah, that's smart. It's crazy, man. I mean, it still bugs me when I see Black Lightning. <laughs> Nigga running around looking like a modern day George Clinton. But now he got that fine ass uh, brother running around with him. Must be nice. Uh, don't, say, <laughs> don't say that. That's Since weird. Get arrested, sir. What the hell? You know, I'm embarrassed it took me this long to do the right thing. Start leaving this place for all the rot. But once Detective Lennon got going, he had an awful lot to say, mainly about you. You under arrest. The officer will read you your rights. You're making 
a mistake, Anderson. Hey, you don't know how this town really works! Like, won't he Actually, get out? I do. Won't he get out, though, because they'll... Or will they kill him? Well, I guess we had our moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Uncle Gamby. That's what I was kind of hoping it was, but boy, don't do that to me. <laughs> Thanks for coming over. Jefferson, uh, look, look, I don't know how things are going to be moving forward. I don't expect you to forgive me. Well, I might not be able to, but I still can't forget what you've done for me. <laughs> for my family. I want to find a, a new balance. For years, good folk have suffered from over or under policing, from police brutality instead of public safety, from corruption rather than professionalism. I am of this community, from this community, and devoted to this community. And with the support of the police chief, I embrace my new role as deputy chief. And I promised the people of Freeland a better police department. We are thankful for the companionship that warms our hearts, for the food that we're about to eat that will nourish our bodies. And we are thankful for your eternal protection, which maintains our souls. Amen. Amen. Let's eat. <laughs> Pizza. I mean, I want pizza. Shoot. All right, so if I want to start off. This isn't the, like, this didn't happen until after a couple other things I want to talk about, but um, this was just really cool to me. The When they were arresting Jefferson and they got to the door, the, the exit, the entryway, and then they showed the kids, um, you know, crossed together arm crossed together and blocking the entryway, banding together to stop the cops from taking him. And Devon stands out and, you know, basically butts heads with the cops, voicing that whole group that they're not going to let them take him away. They're not going to let the cops take Jefferson away from them. I didn't expect, I mean, it was heartwarming for one, but, and I knew that, but, but I didn't think it was, I still didn't think it was going to hit me so hard. Like, that really got me close to just to tearing up. And I know I, for those who have seen the videos, and I tend to tear up frequently throughout these videos, but it's just, it's, there's certain emotional things. I don't know. I, I, I don't know why. I don't tear up at everything. I just want to point that out. It's just, you know, if something's an emotional, and if something's, if something's emotional, it has to do with family or, or a familial like bond. It's gonna get me. <laughs> it's it's it, that it's gonna get me. Simple as that. So get used to it. It's gonna happen. But no, that was that was cool. That was really cool. I really that was awesome. I mean, I was kind of expecting it, but still, for it to be for them to show it, it was just or when they showed it though, it was still it was, it was still really good. Okay, now back to the ASA group. So they lost a kid. Um, one of their, one of the kids in the, in a pod died, which sucks. I don't know how old that one was, but that's, so now they're going to be, now they're looking for more subjects now though. So it's bad in two things. One is the kid died, which is terrible, but now they're looking for more test subjects, more kids. And she's already, she's already witnessed or monitored. Three of them have taken the drug, the green lightning, or is it green lightning, green light, green light. The green light, and they have manifested powers, which is good. But I'm I hate that they are on the drug because that stuff is that they can easily kill you. Uh, there's not much margin for error when taking that drug. Okay, so I'm curious. Um, 
the weapons that they made to kill uh, Jefferson, will it not hurt a normal person? Because the way... Because didn't Gamay say it'll only hurt you or something like that? I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure, though. Maybe maybe I misheard or maybe I misinterpreted or, or something. That probably will hurt and kill a normal person, but they were specifically made for killing Jefferson. So that's probably what that was. I'm probably, I'm probably misheard or, mis, or misunderstood or something, but that confused me for a second. That was or that, that hit me as odd um, that it wouldn't hurt a human, so, or a normal person, not human. So they paid Cayman to get for a, for a warrant to plant green light in Jefferson's car. So that they could arrest him. That piece of garbage. I, I, I didn't like him when I see him. And I kind of figured he might be dirty. But when they showed it. But like. Showing him do what he does. Man. <laughs> Hate that guy. I'm so glad Bill arrested him. And it, like you know got him good. I, I, I was worried that when they. When he arrested him. That somehow. He'd get out like the. Or not somehow. But that the, the people that he worked for. But like help. Uh, you know, bend something or, or lose evidence, stuff like that, so that he'd be free, and then Bill would be screwed over. But part of me was also thinking, you know, someone gets caught, they'll kill him, kill the guy. They could still do that, because now that it's out in the media, that it's harder to remedy, to to undo the that he was exposed as a corrupt, and dirty cop, and Bill was promoted to deputy. Uh, was it deputy chief? Is that what it was? That was I. Don't, I don't know why, but that whole scene when they were, you know, when he was uh, giving his speech, that also kind of was starting to get me emotional. I just, I think it's because like it, it, it just kind of when he was talking about how the cops have been over policing or under policing or committing pr- police brutality instead of protecting the people. It just kind of it it brought me back to how it is right now, and it and, and that the thought that that could be reality, the hope that, that could be reality. I guess I think that might have gotten to me, and I know I'm not really in danger for undergoing the issues that a lot of black people go through, and I feel horrible when it does, and it's just it, I hate it so much when I see it happening in real life, and the videos that's taken when they're recorded. Um, and, and showing the police treat him like garbage, and it's just, I just wish there was something that I could do, and there's nothing, so I don't know, it's just, but seeing something like that happen, I know it's television, but it just, I don't know, it got to me, and it, it, it just, it brought all that to mind, to mind, and it, I don't know, it was, it was a good, it was a good scene, it was a good moment, really well written, I love, I really enjoyed that scene a lot. Oh, I kind of knew this was going to happen, because, you know, Bill and him are friends, Bill and Jefferson are friends, but... It was really cool seeing him just, you know, I'm, you know, I'm gonna help you out, brother. Don't worry about it. Uh, and, and even when he didn't tell him, you know, why that he, th- why they were framing him, why they were setting him up, he's still just like, I'm still gonna help you. I just wish you'd make it easy for me. That, I still really, that was really cool. I love that. I love that he still, uh, they, they wrote it to where he's still, you know, even if he's not telling him what's going on, he's still gonna help him. Cause sometimes it's like, well, then I can't help you. I don't know. I can't really do anything. And if you if you're not gonna tell me, you know, the basis of what of your beliefs of why they're going to be, or why they would be setting you up, why this is happening to you, then there's nothing I can really do. So I'm glad he's still like, I, you know, I'm still gonna help you. You know, it's just gonna be a lot harder. I wish it made my job a little bit easier, but <sighs> okay. So I know that one cop was dirty. But he was, okay, I'm not justifying him. I'm not justifying the cop that gave up Caden. Cayman? Cayman. I'm not trying to justify him or anything like that. It, it's just that, um, I don't know, he doesn't seem to be doing it for the self, same selfish reason as Cayman's doing. The thing is, I don't, I don't know Cayman's story or anything like that. Does, I don't, does he have a family? I don't, I don't know anything about Cayman. But when they were saying that, you know, he bought his, he basically bought his kid, uh, his, his, his son a house. He's still doing terrible things, but I mean, he's not selfish necessarily. I, he, he wants to take care of his family and he wants to give them what he feels they deserve. So, I mean, 
I mean, I, it's still wrong for what he did. Don't get me wrong. It's just, you know, I can, s I don't want to say stomach it, but I, I don't hate him as much as I hate Cayman. Oh, it pissed me off so much. Uh, when they were, okay, when they were show in the, in the news report, when they were after Jefferson was arrested and they were showing, you know, the people they were interviewing and uh, that one white elderly woman. <laughs> she didn't know nothing, and she's like here spreading these. Well, I mean, the the community calls him black, called him black Jesus, just because people would listen to him. You know, like he was a good guy, and people would listen to him. And they, you know, they respected him. And here she's using this, turning it on, and 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 just like assuming the worst, basically. That made me so mad. And I know, I can't. What well, I kind of wish they did. I mean, that's that's very, I hate that that was kind of like true, that that was very true to form. A lot of people will be like that. A lot of white people will be, you know, if something bad is exposed about a black person or, or at least um, they're uh, arrested for doing something that they allegedly did, that they'll just, they'll assume that it's true and they'll make it even worse. They'll, they'll be like, oh man, I knew that was something wrong about that guy. That frustrated me a lot. Um, what I kind of wish, though, that they did was that they had at least one other white person that was either neutral or, or just, you know, on this on Jefferson's side. Because, uh, yeah, that happens a lot, you know, but uh, not every white person is going to be, not every white person is like that. Because in the, in the scene when the kids were, you know, blocking the, the entryway, the exitway, <clears throat> not all the students were black. There were some white students in there, too. And they were... You know, they were for Jefferson. Okay. Now, I knew it was going to be technology-based. I figured it was going to be uh, some, like, you know, the, the shooting lightning part was the, te was the technology. I thought it was going to be, he was going to make something that could shoot lightning or something, at least something like it. Um, I did not expect a hologram. That was cool. <laughs> I liked the way, that was a really cool idea. Now, granted, I did it on the flash, but I don't know. For some reason, I didn't, I just didn't think about it being a hologram. I don't know. I just didn't. Because, I mean, they use holograms all the time. I don't know why that, that just, like, threw me off. Because, you know, that they're training the the, the target practice is, based, is, you know, hologram pedestrians in, in a, an environment, you know, for you know, pedestrians and then to hologram bad guys, you know, trying to make sure you don't hit the civilians while you're trying to hit the bad guys, all that stuff. So, you know, the holograms wasn't a leap. I don't know why I didn't think about it in the first place, but my initial thought was, you know, it, it's a energy weapons that you know lightning deep, but that was cool. When the vice principal saw the news, the 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 the, the, the news, the side, the the news on the sighting of black lightning and thunder, uh, she was seemed really happy, or, or she seemed relieved. Now she's a terrible woman still, and I, I wanted, I still wanted to get what's coming to her with this whole taking kids because they're manifesting powers and testing on them and possibly killing them but there's something there's some there's a small kernel of goodness in her i feel because she, she she does have a relation or she has feelings for jefferson i just don't know what'll happen if she realizes they're not reciprocated if she's still trying to you know does she know that he's still trying to get with his ex-wife and that they're that or that they're actually you know getting the getting a bond. I still, because I mean, everybody I'm sure per, per, uh, prefers Lynn over Kara or Kara or Vice Principal Fatty, whatever you want to call her. Point is, will she? Will the the little bit that's holding her to some form of morals, the li the little tidbit that holds her to that, will that go away when she realizes you know? There's no chance, or does she know that there is, and she just has feelings for him anyway? She can't, because she can't really just turn those off. Those, you know, feelings. <laughs> They're not exactly you don't exactly control them. But yeah, that's all. That's all I have for Black Lightning Day, guys. Um, whew. we're really just we have two more episodes until the season finale. So I'm pretty sure it's a 13 episode long season. I'm really not sure what's gonna go, what they what what is going to be happening, because we haven't had Tobias. Is he gonna be? 
Is he going to be the villain or is he going to be coming back? He's not coming back till next season. That's, that just seemed, I don't know. That was, that's a lot. I didn't expect, if that's the way they're going to go, I didn't expect it. Um, oof, my knee. I was thinking the ASA are just, they're going to be, they seem to be the, the main problem right now. Because they're gunning for, for, for Jefferson. They're, you know, they're trying to kill him. And they're, they have, they have this set up, this, uh, they just have this, this ring of captured kids just in their possession. Uh, they're, these powered kids, and they're testing them. So, or they're doing tests on them. So, I mean, I don't know, is it, or, you know, is it gonna, basically the season finale gonna be Jefferson versus the ASA? Uh, are they gonna win? Or is it gonna lead into more like this, the, the next season? I, I hope that's not the case, just because I want the ASA to get what's coming to them, because I hate them, especially that that, uh, that creep douchebag that, you know, t- captured and tortured Gamby, caused this, you know, the cat capturing the, ki- capturing the kids and in the end basically killing them. I hope they come to an end at the very, or at the very least, his, uh, or at least his section's taken out. So they won't come, and they won't, and they'll just, they just won't come back. They just won't, like, okay, well, that's too much trouble to deal with, so we're, we're just gonna continue with our other stuff and wherever else we are. But yeah, I, I, I'm excited to see what, what the, what the season finale brings. But yeah, that's the end of this video, so uh, if you liked it, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you all for your time, and I will see you next week.